Statistics and Probability is brought to you by The Math Teacher. As an integral part of exploring data, let's deal with the basic terms in statistics, the classification of variables, and the levels of measurement. Basic terms in statistics. Universe. The collection of respondents from whom one obtained the data is called the universe of the study. In our illustration, the set of students of this statistics and probability class is our universe. We define universe as the collection or set of units or entities from whom we got the data. Thus, this set of units answers the first W of data contextualization. Variable. On the other hand, the information we asked from the students are referred to as the variables of the study, and in the data collection activity, we have 12 variables including class student number. A variable is a characteristic that is observable or measurable in every unit of the universe. Population. The set of all possible values of a variable is referred to as a population. Thus, for each variable we observed, we have a population of values. The number of population in a study will be equal to the number of variables observed. In the data collection activity we had, there are 12 populations corresponding to 12 variables. Sample. A subgroup of a universe or of a population is called a sample. There are several ways to take a sample from a universe or a population, and the way we draw the sample dictates the kind of analysis we do with our data. Classification of variables. A variable varies or takes on several values. Variables can be broadly classified as either qualitative or quantitative, with the latter further classified into discrete and continuous types. To further illustrate how we classify variables, we may refer to the preceding classification flow diagram. Qualitative variable. Qualitative variables are expressing categorical attributes, such as sex, male or female, religion, marital status, region of residence, highest educational attainment. Qualitative variables do not strictly take on numeric values. Although we can have numeric codes for them, for example, for sex variable, 1 and 2 may refer to male and female respectively. Qualitative data answer the questions what kind. Sometimes, there is a sense of ordering in qualitative data, for example, income data grouped into high, middle, and low income status. Data on sex or religion do not have the sense of ordering, as there is no such thing as a weaker or stronger sex, and a better or worse religion. Qualitative variables are sometimes referred to as categorical variables. Quantitative variable. Quantitative data otherwise called numerical, whose sizes are meaningful, answer questions such as how much or how many. Quantitative variables have actual units of measure. Examples of quantitative variables include the height, weight, number of registered cars, household size, and total household expenditures or income of survey respondents. Quantitative data may be further classified into discrete variable and continuous variable. Discrete variables are those data that can be counted, for example, the number of patients in a hospital. These assume only a finite or infinitely countable number of values. Continuous variables are those data that can be measured, for example, the exact height of a survey respondent and the exact volume of some liquid substance. The possible values are uncountably infinite. Levels of measurement. There are four levels of measurement, namely, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Nominal level of measurement arises when we have variables that are categorical and non-numeric, or where the numbers have no sense of ordering. Ordinal level also deals with categorical variables like the nominal level, but in this level, ordering is important, that is the values of the variable, could be ranked. Interval level tells us that one unit differs by a certain amount of degree from another unit. Knowing how much one unit differs from another is an additional property of the interval level on top of having the properties possessed by the ordinal level. Ratio level also tells us that one unit has so many times as much of the property as does another unit. The ratio level possesses a meaningful, unique and non-arbitrary, absolute, fixed zero point and allows all arithmetic operations.
For a brief yet comprehensive description of the levels of measurement, we may consider the preceding table. And now let's summarize what we have previously discussed. A universe is a collection of units from which the data were gathered. A variable is a characteristic we observed or measured, from every element of the universe. A population is a set of all possible values of a variable. A sample is a subgroup of a universe or a population. In a study, there is only one universe, but could have several populations. Variables could be classified as qualitative or quantitative, and the latter could be further classified as discrete or continuous. Four levels of measurement are nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. Knowing what level the variable was measured or observed, will guide us to know the type of analysis to apply. Given the 12 variables we gathered previously in our data collection activity, let us categorize each of them as to the type of variable, whether qualitative or quantitative, likewise classify each of them as to discrete or continuous. Let us also determine the levels of measurement of each of the given variables. And for your task number one, tell whether the variable is qualitative or quantitative. If the variable is quantitative, classify further as discrete or continuous. Task number 2. Identify the level of measurement of each of the variables given below. Tell whether it is nominal, ordinal, interval or ratio. Thank you for taking time to explore data which is one of the integral domains of statistics.